sight first choosing to be in the rhythm of life, circumstances, and the things that are going on because your lives, things are going to happen. You're going to have to deal with things that come along. You don't change it from the outside, you change it from the inside. You know, uh, back in the old days, they were looking for a Messiah to come save them from the Roman Empire. They were going to save them from Caesar. You know, this temporal power was going to change the hierarchy uh, of the church. And what happened is the man, Jesus, sh showed up and he talked about the activity of the Christ being changing one's consciousness, which means changing one's awareness. It means changing that something that is inside of you because as the change takes place inside of you, it shows up on the outside. It's about being in harmony with the flow and not forcing with a temporal power this over that. You get the feedback, look inside, what's going on? Because the kingdom of heaven is within. So what is it you think about God? You think God's omniscient, which means this all-wise, all-knowing, all-wisdom. That means that's the truth of who you are. All wisdom. All knowledge. That's the truth of who you are. What you think is the nature of God. That is the nature of man. That is the nature of the human being. That is the nature of those that are able to surrender to that and to listen to that. To be in harmony. That falls in harmony with that. And so if you're looking for an answer, you want to come up with an invention. You want to come up with a new religion. You want to come up with a new song. You want to come up with a new idea. You've got to be still. Get quiet. Listen, that's why meditation is so important in, in our teaching. It is that it is within you. That God nature is within you. That all wisdom is right there within you seeking to come out in this, this world. You were born with it. I like what Tuckman Sir Fuller said. Then one of the geniuses of, of our age. He said that we're all born geniuses. Mm -hmm. It's just through the process of living that they have become degenuized. <laughs> it is through the process of living that we have become degenuized. That we have lost it. All of a sudden we have given the power away to the outside world, to the fear. Then the power of circumstances become the ruler of the weak and become instruments of the strong. Mm -hmm. Am I going to place this energy? And I will tell you what I think is a good spot is within the dream that is within your heart. Howard Thurman, Dr. Howard Thurman, one of the great theologians of the last century, said as long as there is a dream in a man's heart, there is no chance of losing the significance of living. Our turn. As long as there is a dream in your heart, there is no chance of losing the significance of it. I'll tell you what, your dream may be the one that changes this world in which you live. Your dream is very important to me, to all of us. You have to be captivated by that dream. You've got to be spellbound by that dream. So there is that dream and there is nothing else. The fear, the scarcity, the limitations, it doesn't deny the truth. You've got to be spellbound by it. I got harmony with that joy. When we are in total connectedness with our true nature. You know, when we are at the power of the holy harmony that is there for all of us, we're willing to take the time to connect. My challenge to you this week is to take the time to meditate every day, to come to know your true nature. So I'm no longer trying to fix anything, but rather I am led as an expression of that God nature. No matter whether I'm in heaven or I'm in hell, all there is is the presence of God as you. God bless.